If your account got suspended because of a suspicious payment activity in Google AdWords, then this video that I'm going to share with you is purely based on my experience and I was able to get approved. My account got restored. Hopefully this screen recording that I'm going to share with you shortly will help you to restore your Google AdWords account. So I'm going to share my screen now without further ado. One, two, three. <laughs> Um, this is not the only account that got suspended because of the suspicious payment activity. We also have other account that I was able to reactivate and it's just I forgot to document the process. So um, yeah, I, I'm glad that I was able to uh, have this issue so I can still document the process with you guys. So yeah, for for you to reactivate your account you need to submit an appeal so if this part here is disabled what you need to do is just click the contact us and you should able to see this um, submit an appeal option so click that part there and by the way when you receive this kind of notification it it normally happens if you have a duplicate Google AdWords account or probably you use the credit card or that PayPal information to other accounts. So the algorithm might detect that there is some suspicious, suspicious activity happening, but it's not really a big issue. It's an algorithm problem that needs to be fixed or needs to be reviewed by a real human. So you need to submit an appeal. So you click the submit an appeal in here and then click the appeal your suspension. And then, um, of course, fill in the following information in here. Make sure the asterisk one are filled out. Otherwise, you cannot um, completely submit the appeal. So you can also CC yourself in case this Google AdWords is is owned by someone you can cc your other personal email address and then select your google adwords account there um, the website that is associated to that google adwords account and then the example keywords you use from one of your campaigns so to see these keywords simply go into the i mean if you are in the summary part you can see all of the keywords in here you don't need to put all of the keywords in here it's just a sample you can pick two to three keywords and then if you are on the view mode then you can see it in in this sidebar area and keywords okay and then street address make sure that it matched to your billing information so to access your billing information go to the tools and settings and go to the um go to the settings and then go to the payment method i uh, no, billing rather so go to the billing scroll down and this is your address to so make sure that they match to each other and then please select your billing country. Um, this one is um, tied to my friend's account, which lives in the United States. So I'm going to type in United States there. And then do you have a single or multiple AdWords account? Yes, we do. So, and then are you advertising your own businesses? You just need to fill it out. And make sure, make sure again. You need to fill out the rec the asterisk one, otherwise you cannot complete the appeal. So, who pays your Google AdWords account? I actually have this. Oh, I already filled up some of some of the information in here. So, put some explanation here, and then what is the payment method you choose in this Google AdWords? So you can find it again in the under the tools settings, and then payment methods. And here, so we use the Visa, this one, credit card, and then last payment activity, you can find it under the summary section. So if you haven't done any um, payment activity, you can leave that as is. Um, which country your business serve? United States. And then provide more information. You can just put very um, self-explanatory, just, just put 
simple explanation how what your what your business does and then um here this is the very crucial fields that you need to fill in and really explain to the google adwords theme why your account shouldn't be um suspended so for the suspicious payment activity aside from explaining your um your concern you also need to put in your soa or statement of account so on this on this part here on this payment activity uh, in this case here i put my paypal account so i put my um statement of account in paypal and you can access that here let me pull my paypal and if you if you use paypal as your payment payment activity hold on um we also we have a lot of um we have a lot of suspension um cir circumventing system policy i'm going to create another tutorial for that but i already made changes to our website so hopefully i would like to submit an appeal for that but i'll cover that on our other video so yeah so to access your soa or stated statement of account and paypal simply go in in here um under all transaction and no i think it's just in the yeah app center i think so yeah i think it's on the all transaction but what just i basically do is i um download this so you yeah here i think this one this one so i download this one completed statement this is the pdf that i sent to the google guy proving that i own that paypal account that is associated to google adwords there is a bookworm head thing in here so there's really no fancy steps that needs to be you know you just need to that i i believe that part there is super crucial so you need to attach the pdf here and that's the for the credit card i just realized that i cannot complete this process because i need to ask for the statement of account on this credit card um credit card details and this credit card is not mine it's my friend's credit card so i need to ask his statement of account so this statement of account is really a must so you need to put that if you want to reactivate your account so once you're ready attach the soa click the submit and wait for two to five days like on my experience here i believe they responded at me when i submitted the ticket yeah i submitted the ticket last um yeah i think i submitted the the, the ticket last january 3 and then they responded at me in the same day so yeah i hope um that helped and i want to know what's the result if you were able to activate your account i hope you can comment down below and if you were uh, if there's also other things that you put in on the on the summary that you think that help reactivated your account hope you can also comment down below so our our community or the others that watching this video can have to fix their account